Good morning. Today I'm gonna to be installing virtual drumline onto my new laptop. This is probably like the fourth or fifth time I've had to do this in my life. And every time I do it, it's a complete pain in the butt and it takes me forever to figure it out. So this time I'm gonna make a video as I do it to, well, one, help me remember how the heck to do it the next time I have to do it, but also to help you guys in case you need to install it and you're on the struggle bus like I always am. And I will also leave the times for the video in the description on when I get to a new topic in case you're just struggling with one certain part. Hopefully I can help you figure it out in this video. So check out that description if you're struggling with just one thing. Okay, so here we have my new laptop, MacBook Pro 2018. That laptop is amazing and I love it. And here we have the old laptop. Hewlett Packard 2013, and here we have the really old laptop, MacBook Pro 2008. We got three generations of computers, even though they're only like five years apart from each other, but this is, you know, the future. So we have to, every five years, get a new laptop, which means I have to reinstall Virtual Drumline every five years or so. So I know with Virtual Drumline, you can only have it installed on two devices, which is pretty freaking stupid and I don't think that makes any sense because I have three of them. But anyways, this is the computer we're trying to get Virtual Drumline on and I'm gonna use this computer as a reference because Virtual Drumline is on there and is installed. So I'm gonna probably look up some stuff on there as we go to figure out what to do when we get to here. And right now Virtual Drumline is also on this laptop and we need to figure out how to get it off of that one and onto that one. Because remember, we can only let it be on two. So I gotta take it off of one to put it on another one. So we're using this computer to install, this computer to figure out how to install, and I'm gonna use this computer to entertain the chickens. All right, here we go. So what do you guys wanna watch? We got uh, Dr. Zivago, A Bridge on the River Kwai, A Brief Encounter, A Lean- <coughs> Ooh, RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars, good choice. I mean, I do already have all four seasons downloaded. <laughs> oh, lick it. Oh, that looks delicious. Ooh, somebody's gonna get caned. Got my copy of Virtual Drumline 2.5 right here. Let's open this bad boy up. And let's pop this disc in. Let's see here. Oh wait, it's on this side. Not on that side. Oh wait, it goes in here. Perfect. Guys, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I know they stopped making CD slots for laptops. My old laptop didn't have one either. So, crap's pretty much useless now. We're in the year 2019 where we can't be self-sufficient and install things ourselves anymore. We have to contact the company. Okay, so we are going to go to, if I can spell it right, uh, tapspace.com. They're the ones that make Virtual Drumline. All right, I think this is good. Good morning, I need to unregister Virtual Drumline from an old laptop and install it on my new laptop, assuming the two device match rule is still in place. It's freaking stupid. I would like to keep it on my HP Envy serial number. I'm not gonna put the serial number now because I don't want you guys seeing it. And install it on my new MacBook Pro and I'll put that serial number two. Thank you, love and kisses, Linda. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm totally not writing that. Every time I've done this email, it's like the fourth time I've had to do it, uh, they usually get back to me within a day. So Tapspace is, is pretty good with customer service. So if they get back to me today, then I'll continue making this video. If not, we're gonna have to wait till some other day to do it. So now I have nothing to do but sit here and wait for this email to come. Three hours later. All right, so we got an email back. Uh, this is only, let's see, I emailed them at 4.11. They got back to me at 8.25. So that's just a little over four hours response time. That's very good. Tap space. You have great customer service and a great product as soon as I can figure out how to set it up. So, okay, their email says, uh, apparently I only have it registered on one system. Uh, so I guess I got it removed off of that other laptop. Some I don't remember doing that, but I guess it happened. And they told me to go to native access to authorize my new system. Don't remember if there's passwords or any of that. I don't remember any of that crap. So hopefully I can just get it figured out as soon as possible. Okay, we're downloading something here. Hopefully it's not a virus. I don't think it's a virus. This, this website looks pretty legit. Incorrect password, oh boy. Here we 
go. Let's try that one. But okay, we got Contact 6, Reek Tour 6. I have no idea what that is. Okay, I'm kind of on the struggle bus here. So I got Contact 6 player, it was installed. But this just, it does, I think it, how do I install Virtual Drumline? Like every time I go to add library, it's like telling me to find it, but I don't have it. Holy crap. Don't know what I'm doing. Don't know what I should be doing, but we're doing something. Hold on, I'm smart. I can figure this out. What if I hit refresh? All right, I'm about to just give up and send another email asking for help. Cause I love not being self-sufficient and asking people to help me. It's great. But who do I, do I ask the virtual drumline guy? Or like, like, I don't know, you even know who to ask. I guess Native Instruments, North America. There is no email, just a place to go to. <laughs> All right, looks like I'm going to Los Angeles, guys. I'll be back. Maybe I should go to the France one. I've always wanted to go to France. Or I can go to China or United Kingdom. All right, I'm gonna go with, I can't ask Native Instruments. I'm just gonna ask the freaking tap space guy. So let's, let's go to my little ticket thingy here and type a message in. I downloaded Native Access and input my VDL serial number. It is saying to add library and select the folder where VDL is located. But I do not know where this folder is or if there even is one. Did I spell there wrong? I like the word even, it makes it sound like I'm desperate. Or if there even is one at this point, since I do not have any files installed. I attached a picture of the issue. Thanks for your help, Eric. We're gonna send this, and then I'm gonna wait again for a response. Day two. Okay, we're back. And I actually got some emails back from TapSpace. Um, it only took about a half an hour for them to respond, so I'll get you guys caught up on this conversation. But first, let's check on the chickens because they've been watching RuPaul's Drag Race for 24 hours straight. So, how you guys doing over there? Ah. Right, you wanna watch something different? You know, we got Toy Story 1, Toy Story 2, Toy Story... Ah. Okay, okay. <laughs> RuPaul's Drag Race it is. <laughs> so the email I got says, hi, Eric. Do you still have your original VDL, DVD, or direct download files? And that reminded me that the last time I had to do this through email, I had to buy direct download files for 15 bucks. And that pissed me off because I bought the DVD already, but now that, you know, technology is evolving and we don't have CD slots in our laptops, I had to pay extra money to get these files, which is completely ridiculous. So he goes on to talk about uh, that, it, yeah, it costs $15 and they go here to buy it and whatnot. So I respond with, I do have my original DVD, but no way to use it since there is no CD slot. And I believe I got the download files emailed to me last time I installed Virtual Drumline, but do not have that email saved anymore. That's not true. I totally have that saved, but I just wanted to see if they're going to make me buy it again, even though I already bought it and they should have it on file that I downloaded these files. And it turns out, yeah, I do have to buy them again if I didn't save them. I save all my emails. Um, but if I didn't, then I'd have to pay another $15 to get this. So make sure you guys save your links for the download files if you buy it, because they'll make you buy it over and over again. So I didn't respond again after that, uh, because now I'm just going to find these files and download them. So let's see. Okay, so apparently the first thing we have to do is download this Continuata. Uh, we gotta download this uh, to get Connect Installer. So, okay. Okay, now I gotta put the code into here. Uh, I'm not gonna show you guys, obviously, because then you'll steal my code. They sent me a code in the email. I gotta copy and paste it into the Continuata Installer. Hey, we're installing things. Yes, oh, finally. Yeah, this is a lot of stuff. I, I hope this doesn't take too long. One eternity later. So that took freaking forever to do. I actually had to let my computer run overnight because of how long it was taking. Um, I think it ended up taking like four to five hours to download all this crap. This morning I came to this and these are all at 100%, but this one read and says error. So I, I don't... 
I have no idea what the heck. I mean, I could probably download it again, but it took so long that I'm just, I'm just gonna see if it actually worked. Hopefully it did. Now, what do I do? Uh, memory serves me correctly, which it hasn't. Uh, I think I have to put these files into Contact Player. All right, we got all these files. I don't know what they are or what they do. We've got an NKX and NKC and a RAR. Let's try to move them all over here and see what happens. Okay, nothing happened. I have no idea what I'm doing right now and should probably seek some help. I know there's like tutorials on the Tapspace website for setting up virtual drumline, but there's like an ocean of videos, like a whole lot of really short ones, and I don't even know which one to click on for certain things. Like I really wish there was just one long video, top to bottom, setting it up, which that's the video I'm doing right now, so hopefully it's helping you as much as it will help me. It's not helping me right now because I'm very confused. All right, what if I try to open one of these? What happens? It's opening in, it's opening in VLC Media Player. <laughs> it's not a video. Right, we're gonna resort to the manual. The freaking caveman way to do it. I have to read. Nobody reads anymore. I think I gotta go to the native instruments. Right, we got native access. We got connect. We got contact. We got finale. That's coming up. I'm not looking forward to figuring that out. Well, you got thousand programs to get this one thing to work. You see why I have to make a video on this. This is really, really confusing. Let, okay, gotta go to this. And we're gonna find the location that those all went to. Virtual Drumline 2.5. Uh, is that it? Is that the place? That is the place, install! Yes! Yeah! I did it. I figured it out all by myself. Sort of. We are installed. Virtual drumline. Let's go. Okay, now what do I do? Uh, we gotta get this into contact player, which I still have no idea how to. Oh, it's already in here. I don't know what I just did. I think it just worked somehow. I guess just installing it like that got it in here automatically. Not really sure. Try to make this video helpful, but I really don't know what I'm doing. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing and figure it out for yourself. So I use Finale. Um, this is probably similar in Sibelius if you're using that. I'm sure this will help you if you use that program. So I'm working on this project. I need to get Virtual Drumline into here. This is where I might need my other laptop because it's installed correctly on there. Okay, so you come up here to MIDI slash audio and go down to audio units, bank, and effects, dot, dot, dot. All right, then we're in here. Then, from here, uh, I don't know what to do, hold on. We're gonna go to window, score manager, and then see what this is set to here. Okay, I got my other laptop out. Uh, I'm gonna try to figure out how I got it set up in here. These to be on bank one. There is no bank. I guess program is the same as bank. Program one, channel one. That's gonna be the marimbas. And then we're gonna go to contact five. And this should be output ST1, MIDI channel A1. And then it's gonna work, it's gonna work. It's totally gonna work. Okay, so I have this all set up correctly, except for under device, there should be an option for contact five, but there isn't one. All right, let's check the tap space YouTube, see if I can find anything. All right, I don't, I have no idea which video to, I'm gonna watch like a freaking 14 minute video and then the answer won't even be in there. Like, no, I'm not. So annoying, so stupid. All right, let's send another email. I was able to locate the files and got everything installed on my computer. I am having a problem getting Finale 2014.5, could've gotta be specific or else they might not be able to help, to recognize Contact 6. In Score Manager, the only options are for Smart Music, Soft Synth 1 through 8, and Contact 6 is not showing up. I'm able to see Contact Player and Audio, Unit Banks, and Effect. I am using Mac OS Mojave. Be specific so they know how to help you. Thank you, Eric. Now I get to wait again. 
proper response. Day three. All right, we're back, and this is it. This is the last day I have before I have to turn in this project. I got the beats all written, and I know it's gonna be great, but right now it sounds incredibly stupid because it's like stock finale sounds. Here, I'll, I'll show you how this is gonna sound. So clearly the drums, uh, they don't sound like drum line. It's like a really terrible MIDI drum set. So this is actually the way we write in the Commandant Zone. Uh, there's a, a few people that might be writing one tune. So for this tune, I arranged the entire front ensemble score and the battery parts from letter B to letter F. And then the rest of the battery parts at the very beginning and from F to the end, they are being written by Sergeant Garrett Churchy. And he wrote, this beginning part right here. And he used virtual drumline and then sent this over to me where I wrote the rest of it without virtual drumline. So that's why it sounds incredibly stupid. So this is why I need to get virtual drumline in here immediately because I got to send this in tonight and it's it's finished, but I got to, you know, I'm going to look like an asshole if it sounds like that when I send it. So we got an email back giving me some instructions that I need to go to MIDI slash audio and change play finale through MIDI to play finale through audio units. It's already selected as audio units. All right, hold on, let's, ba let's back up. Let's start from the beginning here. So I'm gonna go to window, score manager, and also MIDI slash audio, and then to this thing, I think, audio, yeah. Audio units, bank, and effects, and then we're going to uh, switch this first thing to contact. And then we gotta click this little pencil to get into contact, and here we are. All right, then we're gonna set up the instruments. We're gonna try to get the marimba in. I wanted this one. Okay, now all we should need to do is make sure we're on MIDI channel one. Ooh, this is a little different. It says edit player now. All right, we are on bank one, channel nine. Sorry, let's make that channel one. And then make the other room the channel one. All right, then we're gonna go back to our instrument list. And we're gonna solo the marimbas to see if they're the virtual drumline marimbas. All right, here's a marimba part. Let's see how this sounds. It sounds like nothing. Wonderful, great. Perfect. Why is it so? Oh, wait, this, there's no volume at all. Negative infinity. I don't want that. Let's get that up to like five. Okay, now, now, it's still not doing anything. It's like saying something's happening, and whatever that is, is doing a thing. Wait, why are, they, why are these all the way down? That might be the problem. Uh, somehow in the mixer, some of this stuff got turned all the way down to the bottom. All right, let's see if that fixed it. That's it, that's it. That's the marimba sound. Oh my God, we got it. We figured it out. Woo. All right, moving right along here. Let's set up the vibraphones now. All right, yeah. I'm so happy. Okay, now we gotta go back to here, vibraphones medium mallets. All right, we're going voice two. Let's, right, we're going channel two. Yeah, what's next down here? Glockenspiel. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward through this. Uh, so I'm just basically looking at the, the, uh, the score here and just assigning a channel to each of the percussion staves. Okay, so these are all set up into, wait, why is this 10? Shouldn't that be one? Uh, all the rest of the virtual drumline contact stuff is one. Why is that one 10? Let's just try it. We're gonna see how it sounds. Uh. <laughs> okay, that's definitely virtual drumline. Um, so I, I wrote this in manually, so all these notes are not assigned to the right sound. So 
So I'm gonna have to, I'm probably gonna need to go back and use a MIDI keyboard because this is gonna be a pain in the butt trying to do it manually, but at least we got it in there. We got the sounds we want. So actually, let's play the beginning because this was, this should be fine because it was written with Virtual Drumline. Let's play Sergeant Churchy's part, see how it sounds. <laughs> It sounds kind of god-awful. What's going on here? Uh, oh my goodness. What the heck? You know what I think the problem is? I think he wrote this with Virtual Drumline Lite, which I believe comes with Finale. You have to still install it. And I have the, the full version. Ooh, look at me. All right, I'm gonna have to go and re-input all these notes. At least we got the sounds into here. That's that's what's really important. And that's what, what I was trying to do with this video. So that's good. All right, I wanted to see the glockenspiel because that was like set to some weird program. Let's find some glock parts. Here we go. Let's see how this sounds. It sounds like nothing. It's like showing that it's playing, but it totally isn't. I don't know why this will, won't go to one. Why won't you go to one? Will it go to two? No, it only goes to 10. Oh wait, if I go to channel one, well, that's gonna sound like the marimba. Now let's go back to three. Okay, now it, I don't even know what I did and why that worked. I, I hate that. I'm sorry if this is the most useless tutorial, um, cause I don't know what I'm doing, but things are working out. So maybe things will work out for you too. And if not, Sorry, let's see if this actually worked. It didn't. Maybe there's something weird about the notes. Hold on, let's try screwing around in here. Oh! Okay, so I'm jacked up with the range of this instrument. This E would be all the way up here somewhere. Right, I'm gonna try something here. I'm gonna open uh, this template. Set up contact player. Yeah, let's, we're only gonna add the Glock to see if this works in here. So the other document was made with like regular Finale, but this one is like the virtual drumline template. All right, good. Yes, that's the normal range of the instrument. So the Glock works in the template. By the way, I had to buy these templates separately. I think it was like 10 bucks. So that also kind of annoyed me. Yeah, this is actually really old, but it still works. Uh, 2009 is when I got Virtual Drumline and bought the templates and it is 2019 now and these still work in the Finale, uh, the most recent one. I got Finale 2014.5, so that's, that's good. So I think the best thing we can do for the Glock, since it's jacked up, uh, I think we're just gonna have it play the default Glock that's in Finale. So let's put this back to Smart Music Soft Synth. So that's probably the best thing we can do. It's not gonna sound as good as the virtual drumline Glock and Spiel, but I mean, the Glock that comes with Finale doesn't sound terrible. Yeah, so that, that sounds fine. I don't, I mean, it's kind of annoying because I have all this crap set up, but that one isn't gonna work because Range of the instrument is weird. So that's how you set up virtual drumline in like 7,000 really confusing steps. Hopefully this video helped you in some way if you're actually trying to watch this to learn how to do it. I kind of suck at it, so I apologize if this didn't help you that much, but hopefully it did. And I'm sure this video will get around to the wonderful people at Tap Space because you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty popular and cool on the internet. And I just want you folks to know that Virtual Drumline is definitely the best program for percussion. All of the sounds are there that I want and it sounds fantastic. This just sucks so much setting it up. Like this is what I look forward to the least whenever I get a new laptop or have to restore my laptop. I can get all my other programs set up in like an hour, but this one, it took three days. I mean, technically it was five days, but three days where I was actually working and trying to figure it out. And I'm just imagining in a perfect world where everything is amazing. Like imagine, just, just imagine this. You're in Finale. I don't have Virtual Drumline installed. All I do is like go up here and then there's a thing down here that says Virtual Drumline. I click that 
opens up a window in Google Chrome. And in this window, all it says is input your serial number or another option to buy it. And you input your serial number, click download, and then everything you want goes into Finale or Sibelius, whatever you're using. And then you just have it all. Like you get to skip the process of downloading freaking Continuata and Native Instruments and Native Access and Contact Player and the the free whatever that other one was Reek Tour. What I don't even know if that is anything involved with this, but I, I downloaded it. Like imagine if I didn't have to do all that. This would be so so simple. So. I don't know how to make it so it is set up like that, but I feel like it can be possible because this is 2019, we're in the future, things should be easy. So please tap space for the love of all that is drumming. If you can make this simpler for us, us simple drumming folk, that would be, that'd be fantastic. But anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure you click that subscribe button and ring that Liberty Bell and consider sliding into a custom t-shirt such as this one. I can't find my slide whistle, sorry. But the link is in the description. And have a good morning. All right, another video complete. <gasps> I forgot about the chickens. They've been watching RuPaul's Drag Race for five days. Chickens are... Uh-oh. Squeaky squeak.